the discriminant of a quadratic, um, this one, the discriminant will tell us, this one will tell us what do we expect as our solution. For example, if I get the uh, I will just give an example here. 16x squared minus uh, 8x plus 1 is equal to 0. Maybe this is easy to see that this is a um, perfect uh, square so that we can uh, factor it by 4 minus one, uh, 4x minus 1 and then 4x minus 1 or 4x minus 1 parenthesis square is equal to 0 then we will get the the answer by uh, the value of x by taking the square root of both sides of the equation then we have 4x minus 1 is equal to 0 then 4x is equal to 1 and then divided by 4 divided by 4 and we have x is equal to 1 fourth this one will tell us, add, as we, as you see, we got just one value for x, or we call it repeated root, or double root, okay? But we don't need to solve this in order to, to, uh, to see if we will get a repeated root or not by using the discriminant, okay? So the discriminant, for example, is equal to, um, b squared minus 4ac and we have our b is negative 8 squared minus 4 times a is 16 times c which is 1 positive 1 i'll remove that positive that then you will see that this is 64 minus 64 and it will give us zero. So when the discriminant of the quadratic is zero, then we will get a double root or repeated root, as we see there. Okay, let's take some more example. We will uh, we'll have this. Three x squared minus four x minus two is equal to zero. We can solve this by factoring if you can factor it, completing the squares or by the quadratic formula. Okay. If we try quadratic formula, then we have x is equal to, we have negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 2 minus 4ac divided by 2a. Then we have negative, negative 4, that is our b, plus minus the square root of negative 4 squared minus 4a for a is 3 c is uh, negative 2 then we have divided by 2 times 3 then we have 4 plus minus the square root of 16 plus 24 then we have 4 plus minus the square root of 40 oh we have sorry we have divided by 6 divided by 6 then we have 4 plus minus the square root of 40 24 which is 
divided by 6. That is our x. Then we will get uh, 4 plus square root of 40 or 2 square root of 10 if you want. I am not going to simplify now. Divided by 6. That is our, our first one. Then you will see that you will get an irrational solution. Our x sub 2 also. Both of them are irrational to distinct solution. That means we have here, that means if we will take the, the discriminant now, that is b squared minus 4ac, then we have b squared is 16. I will put it minus 4 squared minus 4a, which is 3, times negative, negative 2. Then we have 16 plus 24. Then we will get 40. That is, if we have positive, if the discriminant is positive, then we have 2 distinct solution. That's all right. It's equal to 0. Uh, greater than 0, sorry greater than zero and then uh, that's one another if uh, if it is a, a square then you will get a rational rational solution if it's not a square you will get two irrational solutions solutions there two distinct solutions irrational solutions in this case our example here we got the uh, irrational two distinct irrational solutions i didn't solve it because uh, i know you can already okay let's see if we can find the uh, when it is a a perfect square. Here's a, another example. Let's see if we can find the discriminant to be a perfect square. Then we have discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. We need to rearrange this. We need, if we subtract both sides of the equation by 11, then we have 11x here. This will be 0. And then subtract also with 10, then this will be 0. So we have zero on the right hand side b squared will be negative 11 squared minus 4 times a will be 6 times c will be negative 10 and we have 121 plus 24 240 then we have here uh, 300, 361, and 361 is, if we take the square root of that, 361, then we see that it is 19. That means it is greater than 0, it is a square, then we will get to this thing rational solution solutions okay here is another example we have 2x squared minus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 the discriminant is b squared minus uh, 4ac then we have negative 2 squared, parenthesis is squared, uh, 4 times a is 2 times c is 3. 
and we have 4 minus 24 and we will get negative 20 which is less than 0 and when we get less than 0 then no real roots okay let's let's try to do that by um what's this by uh, quad, uh, quadratic formula then we have negative times negative 2 plus minus the square root of uh, negative 2 squared minus 4 times a is 2 times 3 divided by 2 times 2. As you can see, this part of the solution is negative. And it is neg when it is negative, then there is no real roots, real solution. Okay, summary. Summary. It says that when your discriminant is greater than zero, there are two, two ways. If it's a square, then we will get two irrational, uh, two rational, sorry, two rational solutions. When, oh, I'm not finished there. When it is not the square, then we will get two irrational solutions. When discriminant is less than zero, then we will get no real solutions or real roots. When this discriminant is equal to zero, then we have a double root or double roots or repeated roots. So, on my next video, then I will give some more examples about uh, how to use the discriminant. See you around.